Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy JigsawFlex here, and uh, I just want to let you guys know that the new Nintendo 3DS XL that I got yesterday was really good on the stream yesterday, and I really am enjoying this new 3DS. It's a lot better than the original that I had, and uh, Mario Party Star Rush, really good game, so I'm probably going to stream that tonight, so... Uh, this video is basically me teaching you guys how to easily record your Nintendo 3DS without buying an expensive capture card. It still does the job well done, and uh, obviously you won't get the perfect streaming quality, but it's something that you guys could probably do with uh, less than $100 if you already have the essential needs for recording, at least like a microphone and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys basically what to do and what you should get um, along with your normal recording setup to basically stream your Nintendo 3DS. So, let's get to it. Okay, so what you see right here is my iPhone 5C basically being pointed at the 3DS connected by this AV adapter provided by Apple Lightning, which is connected to an Elgato that powers basically the game in OBS and Elgato. You may have to invest on a mount depending what kind of device you are using and use a tripod that way it raises high enough to a point where you can see both screens of the 3DS. Here is an overview of where I stand. Okay, here is a quick bird's eye view. Here is my microphone. Be sure the microphone is able to extend long enough that way you can reach your face and you can hear yourself. An auxiliary cord connects from the 3DS to the microphone jack of your computer that way it can support sound through your system. Lastly, it will probably project through OBS or Elgato depending what software you want to use to stream slash record. Again, this is a quick overview of the setup that I have. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to use these through OBS and Elgato. Okay, so now that I've showed you guys on what the setup actually looks like, here's what you guys have to do on OBS uh, first before I show you guys on Elgato. All you gotta do is just set up your layout and make sure that your 3DS is perfectly lined up with the phone or whatever you guys in uh, are using for a, a camera. So just make sure that's lined up maybe about about almost perfect. You're never gonna get it really perfectly because due to maybe a slanted flooring or you I mean you can level that out like putting maybe pieces of paper under your like 3DS or something to level out the ground but uh not everyone has something to level out so it's okay to have little like black marks on the side on your 3DS and it's okay to maybe zoom in a little bit because you get the point you're just trying to show everyone that you can stream the 3ds itself so just gotta put your layout in put it over your 3ds this is how it's gonna look like without the layout um it's just uh basically the 3ds it's uh kind of cropped actually because i decided to crop this over here so if you want to include webcam you might as well crop this so um the layers don't go over your webcam or the stream chat that I have here on top. Like I said uh, before about the auxiliary cord, make sure you add that too as a sound capture. So just go to add, go to, um, where's audio here? Audio input capture, because remember, you're inputting this cable into your computer. So you gotta make sure you select that and it's, I have it already existing. It's the game audio. So that's basically gonna record your 3DS. Now, I'll, I'll demonstrate right now. Right now it's off, so you can't hear it. So obviously you just have to slide up the volume slider and you'll hear it. Now, see, it's really loud and everything. So you can just adjust it through your 3DS if it's too loud. So I just have it in a very respectful gain, maybe a negative 5.3 decibels, something that I'm not range. Just test it out for yourself. Just one cord, plug it in, make sure you put your input device and you're all set. So uh, I'll show you guys how it looks like on the Elgato in just a few seconds. All right, so now that you have Gaming Capture HD up, what you really want to do is just see if you like the layout of what appears on your screen. Now, it actually pops up automatically. The AV adapter shows that it's connected and input device, it doesn't really matter what you pick. It's forever gonna be your iPhone slash whatever smartphone you use to record. So, uh, or even a video camera for that matter. I don't even know, actually no, video cameras don't even have Thunderbolt. I, I don't even know if Androids have Thunderbolts to be honest. I'm, I'm more of an Apple guy when it comes to phones. So. Make sure you have this all up and you can just actually hit record and then you can go edit in your video what you want to do with it like crop the top 
picture and then the bottom one to separate into different sections of your layout or something like that or you could add face cam all right so basically it's just a plug and play type of thing and all you got to do is hit record and you're basically done so right now i want to show you guys where i bought all these stuff so the lightning adapter for iphones or basically any apple product you can get on amazon for 40 dollars and the next one is a good tripod you can get an amazon basics one for about 17 dollars uh it's okay i guess like Mine's kind of starting to fall apart a little bit, but I think it's because I didn't really take care of it. But it's all also your choice if you want to spend more. And the last thing that I actually have to hold the Nintendo 3DS is a 3DS stand. You can get one from the Kid Icarus series if you already have the game. It came with a nice 3DS stand. You could totally use that. What is really important though, when you get a stand, you got to make sure it has a little opening on the bottom. Depending actually which 3DS you use, my new 3DS XL has the audio port right in the middle. So it's really important to know where your ports are. So if it's like on the side, let's say here, you may not be able to fit it. So maybe a 3DS XL. I think the 3DS XL is shifted left or right. So if you're not sure, I, I would just suggest getting like typing in 3DS excel stand they probably have that for you somewhere you could probably even get like a grip actually because a grip gives you that room see for that audio to go through and everything you can totally get these and they're very cheap no more than probably 15 dollars will you have to spend unless you get this uh, i guess this is very reliable Alrighty guys, this is how you can record and stream your Nintendo 3DS in a much more affordable price and very easy to set up. Now, I basically got this thing a couple of days ago. This Apple Lightning is your savior. Definitely get it if you guys have an iPhone or anything that supports a Thunderbolt port. Be sure to buy a tripod and a 3DS type of stand. That way you can play more vertical than laying it down on the table. You guys don't want to do that. It's going to be very depressing to see. Be sure to leave a like on today's video if you thought everything was helpful for you and I showed you guys something new today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host Jigsaw Flex. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more live streams, gameplay, videos unboxings and reviews so thank you guys again and see you guys next time peace out guys and stay cool game tonight um so be in the watch for that and uh it goes for the next thing i actually want to talk about which is this lightning digital ev adapter which is basically an hdmi converter for your iphone or anything that basically has uh, support of thunderbolt one or two